Well, hello, Librarians. This is your quarter of readings. It's for the month of October, November, and December. All right, so let's get in your reading and see what is coming up for you, Librarians. Okay, so commitment is going to be coming up for you, Librarians, whatever is happening and transpiring. There's some sort of a commitment in the month of October and the month of uh, November. There is a lot of complication that is going to be coming up. And in the month of December, yes, a whole lot of complication. Something about November, December. You're confused in that December about a situation, Librant. So it could be a commitment that you decide to go in, that you're going to be having some sort of a complication. There's a lot of worries. You can see in November, nothing is really clear. Everything is up in the air. Nothing is really clear and you're really undecided in December whether or not you made a right decision. This is showing up some sort of a relationship, that sort of a situation and relationship that uh, um, you're dealing with. All right, so let's break the months down. Uh, so we have the energy of the eight of uh, coins. The eight of coins this is a work situation some sort of a new contract that you have taken on in the month yes new co-workers yeah because it's definitely coming up as some sort of a relationship two of pentacles um this pay is much better but you're really considering whether or not you um made the right decision okay librans so a lot of you Librans uh, could be could have gotten in a relationship or new relationship in October. However, that is coming up and transpiring. But Jupiter is in Capricorn and it's in your lucky house and it's going to be okay. There is nothing to worry about um, because with this Jupiter in Capricorn, it's really in your lucky house. So um, you're you're going to be confused. Uh, whatever is going on, you're going to be confused. But you know the universe is saying let's just uh work together in order to figure out uh, what is going on okay so whatever this uh, you know if you're moving with someone living with someone or you had started some sort of a relationship okay because i see you could be having some regrets because because we're seeing um new co-workers we're seeing new people new neighborhood new neighbors is coming up in the month of october so in the month of october it's about collaborating with other people but this collaboration is going to be turning out to be good for you in october all right so let's look at november with the confusion yes ace of pentacle confusion about a whole lot of money um is going to be affecting you in the month of november some sort of a confusion because this has to do with your money house Libran. it's really affecting your money house so whatever that was going on um, with a whole lot of confusion in your money house. This is uh, definitely going to be coming up. And um, the the portal is showing up a whole lot that is surrounding money um, and love this third quarter. Okay, so we have the energy of the three of cups. So you're going to be happy wherever. If you had moved, relocate, or is going to be moved or relocating, you're going to be happy. This is uh, very, very positive. So there's no worries. So... If it's a new job or it's a new move, relocation, new house, it's, it's going to be okay. Nothing to worry about, okay? Um, then we see the energy of uh, the six of coins in your career house. A lot of you liberals, if you start your own business, if you become an entrepreneur, this is going to be good for you, okay? Because you're going to be making your own money and this is going to be wonderful. This is extremely going to be wonderful. So... Whatever that was happening and transpiring, you are going to be making, a, the move that you're going to be making surrounding your work or career is really going to be positive. And that is going to be aligning you on your journeys moving forward. And this is something that is going to be affecting you in a very, very positive way. Okay, so that is the month of November with the confusion surrounding money. It's her own family. It's her own friend. Um, it's a, a, a daily situation that is going to be 
um, coming up for a lot of you Librans. Let's look at December to finish off this quarter. Month of December, you have temperance. You need to find some sort of a balance. Balance with balance with your money is going to be coming up because it has something to do with the Ace of Pentacles and work. Uh, it could be you and someone who is sharing. Okay. Then we have the energy of the Nine of Wands. This energy of the Nine of Wands that you're dealing with. That's why it's going to get busy in December. December is going to be an extremely busy month for you, Librans. And the Seven of Wands. You're standing your grounds. Whatever is happening and is transpiring, you're definitely standing your grounds in the month of December. It's going to be very, very busy. Things are going to be going very, very fast. And you are going to be standing your ground in the month of December. It's like the month of December, everything. That's where the energy, the fire comes in. Okay, so you have December is going to be changing. Um, December is definitely going to be changing the the guards. December is a month of changing the guards. Okay, and however this is these changes is going to be coming up, it is going to be affecting a lot of you Librans uh, the month of December because it's fast space, fast space. But you're standing your grounds and you are feeling very comfortable standing your grounds um with people you know showing people how far they can go so a friend i told you this was something to do with collega in the month of october something is going to be coming up but you're going to be meeting a very positive co-worker okay i see you're standing your grounds i see some of you could be reconnecting with a scorpion person in the month of october but this scorpion person is coming back to you, but they're creating a whole lot of illusion for you. Okay, so this is definitely a scorpion woman that is going to be coming back in your life, but this person is creating um, illusion. And that's why you're having this kind of fog in your head. Um, you're, you know, it's like you're regretting a situation, but it's not really regretting. It is a form of... Uh, uh, the money is good, but did I make the right decision? So it could be com coming up with career, it could be coming up with business um, for a lot of you, especially in October. Um, you're making new co-workers, uh, new friends, new co-workers. Um, that is good. It's like you're reconnecting with soul family also that is going to be coming up. And uh, um, the money is good, but you're still having some sort of a worry. So be aware of that okay then we are looking with a situation where some of you liberals are having some sort of a legal issue where you need to pay back um money okay it could be you and a friend in some sort of a legal uh, situation surrounding money okay um a lot of you liberals could be finding out what a cancer from another country has done whoever this cancer um from another country um, or from another place you're finding out who this person is that a cancer and a scorpion could have created a whole lot of illusion where money is being lost and they're holding on on you liberals to repay it okay so a lot of you liberals is going to be dealing with a taurus woman if the taurus woman is your child's mother or this could be your mother but this is a taurus person and this could be a Taurus person at the workplace. You could have some sort of an affair, um, but the Taurus person has a child. It could, it's coming up, for some of you, it's coming up as your child's mother, or you could be working for the Taurus person. But there is something with the Taurus person and their child, because it is the energy of the Six of Pentacles. So child support is like in a month of uh, November, money is going to be... Um, money is going to be a problem on an issue um, where you have to pay out money to your child's mother that is a Taurus person okay um it doesn't have to be a Taurus person it can be anyone but um that's where your your money where especially for uh, people who work that's where your money is going so please be aware of this as we get to December, they're going to be finding out where all of this money was. They're going to be recognizing that a, 
a layer of a Sagittarian ad a, a, a collaborate and took a whole lot of money so you Librans are going to be finding out where a lot of money because I said a friend is going to be turning your backs on you in November because of some sort of a financial problematic situation and then you're going to be recognizing how a, a Sagittarian and a Leo gain a whole lot of money sadness sadness for a Sagittarian or a Leo person sadness for a scorpion person sadness you liberals are going to be having some sort of a sadness in december and the sadness in december has to do with um a sagittarian person a sagittarian person could have bring you in a whole lot of problem a sagittarian woman is now very sad saddened. some of you liberal women are very saddened because of a situation because of something that comes out I see sadness. Um, so you Libran women are now very saddened in uh, the month of December. And it, uh, for some of you, it could be November. Some of you is December. Very saddened over a problematic situation that someone has brought you in. There is a situation surrounding a whole lot of money, Librans. A whole lot of money. This could be a legal situation because I see you're standing your ground. You're standing your ground against... Uh, um, a Leo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Scorpion. You're standing your ground against this person and said, the money needs to be returned. Definitely standing your ground against this person. You're saying, listen, the money needs to be returned. So there is a whole lot of problems that is going on. In your fourth house, I see some sort of a news is going to be coming in. Um surrounding your fourth house this is about surrounding your home oh, news is going to be coming in i think this news could be coming in for a liberal or a sagittarian person then we see the king of wands i see sadness for a leo man they now recognize what a leo man has done so you liberals could be finding out something that a liberal man have done whoever this liberal man is Whatever this man have done, sadness for this man. This man, you know, whether he's old or young, this is the king of wands. Sadness for this king of wands. It is, for some of you, it's a Aries or a Sagittarian person. But this person you have had, you have definitely have karma with this person. This is going to be playing out um, for some of you. It's going to be in October. For some of you, it's going to be in November. Some of you, it's going to be in December. Go back and look and see oh, who you're dealing with. Go back to the monthly reading of October um, to see who is this Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. Because sadness for this person, they call this person. So, Libran, justice. This is positive, Libran. Positive. You're standing your ground because you're retrieving a whole lot of money that was lost stolen or taken from um someone that was it was not theirs okay so you're bringing in the karma you're bringing in the the, the justice the karmatic justice to resolve a issue a situation and and you're going to be regaining this money because you're standing your grounds in the house of the karma and you're bringing in the Lord of Karma in order to resolve a situation. Because obviously there was an, a disillusion, some lies that was created that has to do with a whole lot of money. And your liberals are going to be retrieving this money. So this is actually very, very positive liberals. Um, the Squatter reading, I think that your extended readings are out liberals. So go check it out. But whatever is going on surrounding um, money, it is it is the focus and the most um, you know positive thing about this reading. It is that there was issues surrounding money. There was a lot of issues surrounding money. There could have been people who had collected on something that they should have not collected on and people are now going to be finding out who these people are and is going to be retrieving the money back so it could be you lawyer there could have been an air finesse there could have been um some money that was paid out and it went to another person's account um but you're going to be recognizing 
and that these people have been um, mask mining these, this plan for a very long time and was getting money and taking money that they should not have uh, receive. And this whole plan that these people um, were doing, um, they're going to be found out what they have done. So this three quarters is about dealing with a Sagittarian and a Leo person. And whoever the Sagittarian and this Leo person is, because you Librans are going to be finding the inner strength and standing up against the, these two people and say, no, 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 you got to return the money. And here you're dealing with a Libran man and this Libran man, whatever is going on with this Libran man, this Libran man is now saddened because they're not recognizing something about this uh, Libran man. This Libran man, something about this person was not above water. And the truth is definitely going to be coming out. And here we have the energy of the Three of Cups. You're, you're successfully overcoming this Aries, the or Sagittarian man. So this man could be anyone that um, you had to create, um, yield some sort of a karma with this person. This person has brought a lot of karma in your life and you're healing all of this karma and you're letting go. Your money is in uh, the third house. So a lot of you liberals, you could be having, um, you could be an entrepreneur and this money office entrepreneur, money that you're going to be receiving is from some sort of a business and they're not going to be um, regaining this money. It could be a house, a house also that was sold and someone took the money and that was not the correct person. This is coming up as a Gemini um, for some of you. For some of you is a Leo, for some of you is a Sagittarian. There is heavy sadness, but the sadness is because they caught a Leo. Whoever this Leo is had created some sort of a illusion that has something to do with a scorpion because it's in the eighth house. And you are going to be rectifying this situation, Librans. Okay. Um, you have the energy of the three of cups. This is success. Um, a lot of you could be going to another event in the month of November. Um, especially in a, from the middle of November, you could be going out. And going to a whole lot of events okay a lot of you are going to be having to pay your child's mother a whole lot of money if it's uh, it can be your child's mother or your ex-wife a whole lot of money yeah definitely there are issues that is going to be coming up because um, the energy um, for you liberals in this month it has to do with some sort of a commitment so it could be a marriage, a divorce, okay? And this commitment has brought a lot of confusion, okay? There, there was a whole lot of disillusion around this commitment, whether it was a, a job commitment or a, a relationship or a marriage or living together. But it brings, a, this is just confusion in November, okay? It, everything is, you know, and uh, here in December, you're trying to hold yourself together to, to try to figure out, had I made the right decision? But yes, it is. You have made the right decision because you're standing your grounds in order um, to regain a whole lot of money that was missing or someone had taken and you're standing your grounds and you're going to be regaining this money, okay? So there is confusion. This 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 whole quarter, this whole three months is about confusion. It's about not on this uh, not being clear on a situation. November, some of you are not clear about the situation, and the confusion come in in the month of uh, December. So go back and listen to your October reading because uh, there is some sort of a connection relationship marriage there's some sort of a connection um that was uh, that um transpired in the month of uh, um november and in uh, um the month of november there's so much confusion around this decision that you made in october but it has to do with um contractual agreement uh some of you could have changed jobs a new job and uh, yeah the confusion really comes up um in december so be aware a lot of you women um um or men could be 
reconnecting with a Leo person. Is that what you want? You gotta, Librans, you gotta understand what it is that you want. Okay, it's not what another person wants. Someone might want to reconnect with you, but is that the right thing for you? You have to think about you, okay? Whoever this child mother is, some of you liberant women could be regretting a situation. A lot of you liberant women with kids could be regretting that your marriage, your relationship is over. You're now on your own, okay? But I see you're going to be getting that financial backative that you're looking for, and it's all going to be working out in a positive way um, for you guys, okay? So friendships, there are a lot of you are that are going to be having some sort of a problem surrounding friendships with the Aries and money. This could this is definitely a friend. Okay. Um in your money house there's some sort of a legal issue because I see some of you liberals could be paying a lawyer or if you're a lawyer you're trying to receive retrieve or if you're a high professional person you're trying to receive a retrieve a whole lot of money. Um a Gemini um for some of you is a Gemini, but if this uh, for some of you is a Gemini, some of you is a Sagittarian and a a Gemini, a Sagittarian, and a Leo person is no court. Uh, they could have accumulated a whole lot of money, but under the false, under false, uh, a false way. Okay, some sort of a positive news is coming about a house. So if you were looking for a house, or you were um, hoping for a house, some sort of a positive news is going to be coming in. That is in your fourth house. In your fifth house, I see you're reconnecting with a scorpion. But the scorpion is br bringing a lot of chaos in your world. This, this scorpion could have had bring chaos in your world. Okay, the scorpion could be a far relative or a friend. But they, they're coming in, but they're coming in with a lot of chaos. So be aware. Then when we look at the sixth house, the sixth house is very positive. That is your everyday, um, your everyday, you know, dealing with people on every day. And it is, is very, very positive. When we look in your own house, Librans, um, a whole lot of communication between you and a Sagittarian is going to bring it, bring up some sort of a sadness, whoever the Sagittarian is. But communication between you and the Sagittarian is going to be bringing up a whole lot of sadness. So be aware of this. Um, be aware of uh, whoever this person is, because this person is bringing confusion for you. It is in your house, Libran. So you have to be aware of who this person and this situation is. Then when we look at the house of the scorpion, there is a Leo that you're dealing with, with some sort of a karma, because that is the eight house. That is also a karmatic house. That is secrecy, secrets. You know, like you are dealing with karmisha and karmatic people, but they have, they could have used witchcraft because that house is the house of witchcraft, uh, underlying energies, uh, um, using different energies to manipulate situation in the eighth house. So be aware of this. Then when we look in the ninth house, it's as if you gain something, but um, it's a bittersweet win. Because it's as if it could be a legal issue that is now paid out, but yet still you're left uh, with the scars okay so that is going to be coming up in the house of career a lot of you women um with children uh with a divorce or alone with kids you're going to be getting some sort of a career um like promotion is going to be coming up for you ladies so ladies who are independent or you have kids no father figure in the home you're going to be getting some sort of a promotion or career move. Then when we look in the house of the Aquarians, a lot of you Librans are standing your grounds against a group of people or, uh, yeah, or an Aquarian because you want back your money. And this person could have took a whole lot of money um, or let you lose a whole lot of money and you're standing your ground against this person. It is an Aquarian person or a group of people, okay? Could be some sort of a corporation, institution, bank of credit card company that overcharge you. It could be that sort of a thing. Then when we look at the 12 hours, the Lord of Karma is here. 
so whatever that was going on a lot of you liberals are going to be making sure that a pisces person regained a whole lot of money um because you liberals are going to be recognizing that someone created some sort of a false situation and gain a lot of money that a pisces person should have gained okay so this is going to be coming out uh, in this quarter so the bonus of this quarter is about good news coming in um but there is sadness for a Leo person, whoever this Leo person is, you need to let go of this Leo person because this Leo person is going to be taking you Librans um, down with them. And the bonus is that the Lord of uh, Karma is going to be coming in to return a whole lot of money to uh, that a Leo person had took what a, um, a Pisces or an Aquarian should have received. Um, they're going to be making sure that this money is returned to the rightful owner okay so um liberals go check out your extended um you have to be a member of the channel so you can access them um the extended are all old out for the um third quarters i do love you guys please remember if this is your first time subscribe thumbs up and i will speak to you next time